Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W R W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number. 98 day 3098 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition third edition day 98 we are covering the topic of permutations versus combinations we will do a couple of problems today just like we did two problems yesterday and the day before yesterday the first problem as you can see is, on the, is already on the blackboard the, prob, the two problems that we are going to do today they are not in the book so don't try to look for them here is what the problem says it says in how many different ways can we form a committee of three people consisting of at least one woman out of five men and two women? So we have five men, five men and two women. The condition is that at least one of the people on the committee has to be a woman out of a committee of three. That is, committee of three. The first thing we notice, of course, is the committee. They are perf they're performing a task. There is no order here. Order does not matter. The position does not matter. Three people are going to sit together and do some work. They are going to form a committee. We are combining three people. Order does not matter. Which means we cannot have repetitions. Once we have chosen A and then B, we cannot go around and saying B having chosen B first and then A is another possibility. It's not. It's the same two people. A and then B is same as B and then A having chosen B and then A. We have to keep that in mind. We begin to double count. When we, pick, when we begin to pick a third person, we will begin to triple count. Let's see what we can do here. The condition is that of these three people, one of them has to be a woman. So there are two possible scenarios here. Here is the solution. There are two possible scenarios because there are only two, two women. There are two possible scenarios because it says at least not exactly it says at least one woman the well, committee has to have at least one woman it doesn't say committee must have exactly one woman then of course there is only one scenario at least one woman so two, two possible scenario is that we have a committee where we have two men and one woman we have fulfilled the conditions at least one of them is woman in the committee or or we can have one one man and, and two women. Choose both of them. There are two women. Choose both of them. And that will satisfy the condition. Committee is, committee is to have at least one woman. Well, here we have a committee with two women and one man. Let's take a look at it, shall we? So what can we do here? Two men. We're going to choose two men out of five. Out of five, we're going to choose two men. How many different ways can we choose the first man? The answer is five different ways of choosing the first man in this, in this scenario. Having chosen the first man out of five, we only have four men left. How many different ways are there to choose a second man? Obviously four of them. But the problem is that as soon as we choose the second man, we'll begin to double count. We'll begin to double count everything and to negate that, to nullify that, we have to take half as many. This is how many ways we have of choosing two men out of five. Let's move on to choosing, let's move on to choosing one woman. Well, how many women are there? There are two women. So how many different ways can we choose one woman out of two? There's only two ways. There are only two ways. There are two women. Uh, Jennifer and uh, Rachel. We either choose Jennifer or just Rachel. That's what it is. There are two ways. What do we do with these two figures? We have a figure, we have a figure here. We have a figure here. Do we add them? No, we do not add them. We multiply the two figures because for each of these possibilities here, we have two possibilities here. Here, two is going to cancel out with four. So there are ten possibilities. There are ten ways. There are 10 different ways we can have two men out of five and for each of these 10 ways we have two women. So we can combine these 10 men with first woman or we can combine these 10 men with the second woman. So it's 10 times 2, 20 ways. There are 20 ways we can have our committee where we have one woman. Or we have a scenario like this. We choose one, one, one man out of five. How many different ways can we choose? Oh, I forgot completely to give you the answer choices. This is it. These are the answer choices that are given to us. 10, 16, 25, 81, and 
100. What I did forget to tell you in the beginning is, and something that something that you should do always on your own, instinctively, automatically. Once we finish, once I finish putting the problem on the blackboard, once I finish reading the problem to you, pause the video immediately. Always solve the problem yourself first, and then compare your work against the work that we're doing together. You'll get more out of it that way. Do you understand? Anyway, these are the answer choices. 20 ways so far. How many different ways can we choose one man out of five? Well, there are five men, so there are five ways. There are five ways we can choose one man out of five. There are two women. There are two women, and we want to choose two women. If you want to choose two women out of two women, how many different ways can we choose two women out of two women? But there's only one way. Obviously, take both of them. Ask both of them to join the committee. There's only one way. Voila. So there are five possibilities here. There were 20 possibilities here. And then what do we do with those two figures? Here we have to add them. This is five ways, five different ways we can have a committee where we can have two women and one man, or 20 different ways we can have a committee where we have two men and one woman all together. There are because these are different commi committees. You see, we're not we're not going to put them together. This, this is this is one way to form a committee. This is another way to form a committee. 20 ways to form this committee. Five ways to form that committee. There are 25 ways. There are 25 ways we could have fulfilled our, our conditions that is given to us, which is to make sure that we have at least one woman. Let's do one more. Very similar to it. Very similar and yet a little bit different, so that you get used to what we may encounter in the exam. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. It's very similar as I said. No big deal. It says box. A box contains two red, three white, and four blue marbles. In how many ways in how many ways can we choose in how many ways can we choose three marbles such that such that At least one, at least one white marble is always chosen. How many different ways can we choose three marbles such that white marble is all, at least one white marble, at least one. Understand? Not one white marble, but at least one white marble. At least one white marble is always chosen. A box contains two red, three white, and four blue marbles. In how many different ways can we choose three marbles such that at least one white marble is always chosen? This is the time for you to pause the video, do the problem yourself, and see what we can come up with. I'll give you five seconds for you, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video, okay? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Before we actually solve this problem, before we actually solve this problem, let's rewrite this problem in a different format. Same exact problem, but worded in a very different way. But it's the exact same problem. You'll see in a second, exact same problem, but worded entirely differently. So here's, here's the same problem in, in different words. It says, a committee, of three people is to be chosen is to be chosen from two administrators three professors three professors my handwriting is atrocious Three professors and four students. 
committee must have at least one professor. There you go, you see? Do you see the parallel here? Instead of marbles, we have people. Instead of having red, white and blue, the three categories here are administrators, professors and students. So there is apparently a committee that they're, going to be, that they're trying to form on a campus and they have administrators like president, vice president, bursars, all sorts of president, secretaries, people who are not teaching staff, people who are not teaching staff, who are not professors. That's one kind of category. Second category is people who are engaged in teaching, the professors. And the third category, of course, is the student body. And this is how many people have volunteered to be on the committee. There are three people to be chosen among two people who are administrators. Two, two administrators have volunteered to be on the committee. Three professors have said they, they have shown interest that they would like to be on the committee. And four students are running for the committee here. But the condition here is that the committee that we will eventually have must have at least one professor on it. At least one professor. Our professor is our white marble. Our professor is our white marble. Otherwise, it's the exact same problem. Three professors. You see that? Three professors, three white marbles. We must have at least one white marbles. The committee must have at least one professor. It's the exact same problem. There is no difference. So the way we are about to solve the problem, that uh, top problem is the exact same way we'll solve this bottom problem because they are one and the same problem. They are not two different problems. Just word it very differently. Let's get going. Enough of the talk. How many different scenarios we'll encounter now? Well, it says we have to have at least one professor and there are three of them, which means we will have to encounter, we'll have to deal with three different scenarios. Not four. We cannot have zero professors. Zero would be would a possibility if, the, uh, if, 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 if they had not said anything. Uh, but that will be silly, obviously. We must have at least one professor, which means we can have a committee with just one professor, or we can have a committee with two professors, or it is quite possible that our entire committee of three people, our entire committee of three people is consists of three professors. There are no administrators in the committee. There are no students on the committee, but then again, there are no conditions that we have to have an administrator, we have to have a student. There are no conditions on students or administrators. So it is quite possible that we can have our committee consisting of all professors. Let's get going, shall we? There are three scenarios here, three possibilities. There are three possible scenarios. There are three possible scenarios. Scenarios are, and again we'll speak in terms of white, blue and uh, red because it's easier. So one possibility can, is that we can have, so there are three possibilities, three scenarios. We can have one white marble and two non-white. One white marbles and two non-white. One professor on the committee and two, two other people who are not professors. Non-white here being people who are not professors, either administrators or students, doesn't matter. Do you understand? Or we can have two professors, two white marbles and one non-white. Two professors and one person who is an either an administrator or a student. Or third possibility is that we can have three white marbles. A, co a committee consisting of consisting of all three professors, the entire committee consisting of professors and nobody else. Let's get going, shall we? Let's get going. The key here is to go systematically. Don't try to rush. Okay, so let's get going. How many different ways can we choose one white marble? Remember, we had three white marbles. We had three white marbles. We were told two red marbles we had. Let's put them in the order that was given to us. We had two red marbles, three white marbles, three professors, and four blue marbles. Okay, so let's get going. How many different ways, okay, follow follow here. How many different ways can we choose one, one marble, one white marble out of three white marbles? Well, there are three of them and you want to choose one, there are only three ways. 
There are only three ways we can do this. Let's move on to the two nine white marbles. Okay, we doesn't nine white being people who are not professors, either administrators or students. Well, how many administrators do we have? We have. Well, I'm not sure if it's the same thing. If I, we have two two red and four blue. I don't know which one was came first here. Exactly, two is the administrators. Two are the administrators, and the blue are the students. So there are six of them. There are six people who are not professors. Two administrators, two administrators, A for administrators, and four students. Or if you like, two red marbles and four blue marbles. In other words, there are six nine white marbles. There are six nine white marbles out of which we have to choose two. How many different ways can we choose first non-white marble out of six? Well, there are six of them, so there are six ways. Having chosen the first non-white marbles, how many different ways can we choose a second non-white marble? Five ways, of course. But we know that as soon as we choose the second one, we'll begin to double count. Double counting is not allowed in a combination because it's the order doesn't matter. It's a, co it's a committee for crying out loud. It's a committee, they're going to sit there and do some work. There is no packing order. There is no president or vice president. It's just three people sitting around the table doing some job. There is no order here. So it doesn't matter whether you have A, B, or B, A, whether you choose A first and then B, or B first and then A. Order doesn't matter. We cannot start double counting. How do we negate it? How do we avoid it? Well, however many ways we found of choosing two people out of six, we take half as many. Half as many. Six goes into two three times, so there are 15 different ways of choosing 15 different ways of choosing two non-white marbles. And there are three different ways of choosing a white marbles. And for each of these three different ways, we have 15 different ways of choosing the non-white marbles. In other words, altogether we have 15 times 3, 45 ways. That's one, one possibility. This is one way we can make our committee. Let's move on here. How many different ways? How many different ways can we choose two white marbles? There are three white marbles. If there are three white marbles and we want to choose two, there are three ways of choosing the first white marbles, two ways of choosing the second white marbles. But as we know, as soon as we take a second one, we'll begin to repeat things. To negate the double counting, we have to divide it by two. In other words, there are only three ways of choosing. In other words, there are only three ways of choosing two white marbles out of three. Obviously, if you have three white marbles, P, Q, R, of course there are only three ways of choosing two. What are the three ways? You can either choose P, Q, or you can either or you can choose P, R, or you can choose Q, R. There are three ways. That's it. Order doesn't matter. P, Q, P, R, or Q, R. Once we have done P, P, R, we cannot count. We well, cannot count RP as another one. That's the permutation, that's not combination here. There are three ways. How many different ways? Not, not plus rather. Not plus rather. And this, I'm going to put big parentheses around it in a second. How many different ways can we choose one non-white marbles? How many non-white marbles are there? Six of them. Six of them. So how many different ways? There are six non-white, these are the nine white marbles, two red and four blues. There are six of them and we want to choose only one. How many different ways can we choose one non-white marble out of six? Well, obviously six ways. H times six. Now let's put the parentheses around it. Now since we're getting confusing here, we're going to put... So there is a parenthesis that goes around the first scenario here. There is a parenthesis that's going to go around the second scenario here. We're done with that. Let's move on to the third scenario, which is the most straightforward scenario. We are to pick three white marbles out of three white marbles. We are, we are to pick three professors out of three professors. How many different ways can we choose three professors out of three professors? Obviously, there is only one way. Obviously, there is only one way. Let's add them all up, see what we get. So, there were 40, 45 ways of having a committee where one, we have one white marbles. There are here two cancels out, three times. 3 times 6 is 18. There are 18 ways of having committee where, not committee rather, having three marbles where there are two of them are white marbles or having committee where two professors are there and one non-professors. And there is only one way of having a committee. I'm going back and forth between committee and marbles just, just, just exactly the point here to make you understand they are one and the same. They are not two different problems. You understand? It's just a matter of what you say. Whether you're dealing with marbles or people, it's the same thing. There is one way of choosing three marbles, three three white marbles out of three, or there is only one way of choosing three professors out of three. 
Now since we're done, we have to add them up. 45 plus 18 plus 1. 18 plus 1 is 19. 45 plus 20, listen carefully, 45 plus 20 would have been 55, 65. It's not 20, it's 19, so it's 64. So there are no answer choices. I gave you no answer choices. Blast it. It is way too late to give you the answer choices. Way too late. I always do that. Blast it. Bloody hell. It ruins the whole thing because now we already know the answer. 16, 26, 60, 64, 92. But that's all right, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal because it can show up as a multiple choice question or it can simply show up as an open ended question where we have to put in our own answers. There are no answers, we have to put in our own answers. That's also a type of questions that you encounter in the GRE. Why not? In which case, we'll do the work and the answer will be 64. 64 because 45 plus 18 plus 1, 18 plus 1 is 19. 45 plus 20 would have been 65. Therefore, 45 plus 19 would have to be 64, one less. That's the end of the lesson for today. We're going to continue with this topic tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow, day 99 and day 100. And perhaps maybe even one or two more days, depending on how long it takes to cover the topic of permutation combinations. It might take actually more than five days. We'll see. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.